College athletes cannot be paid directly to play sports, but thanks to a U.S. Supreme Court ruling last year, amateur athletes can be compensated for the commercial use of their names and their images. The term for that is NIL, and it's become a multi-million dollar industry practically overnight. Fox 4's Stephen Dow explains why schools would rather go big than get left behind in all this. Stephen. Paying student athletes has been a sore subject at SMU for decades. Now, donors can legally pay athletes, and so SMU athletes will be benefiting, but it's not just them. UNT donors are doing the same. The name, image, and likeness era is causing the college sports world to evolve, with student athletes now able to accept money for things like commercial endorsements, personal appearances, and sponsored social media posts. Nolan Boogie Matthews Harris is a tight end for SMU. I know my parents are love it they don't have to worry about me asking for money. With student athletes now being compensated financially, donors are getting on board. Over the weekend, Matthews Harris and 125 other SMU football and men's basketball players opted into Boulevard Collective. It's a group of donors that will now pay athletes. On three sports, reported each athlete will make $36,000 a year. Chris Schumann is Boulevard Collective's executive director. But it has become part of the, the student's experience, just like facilities, uh, just like academic support units, just like, uh, you know, uh, uh, full scholarships. Matthews Harris says this will allow them to have funds for expenses that other college students are able to cover. He says it can also help their families. Now you kind of have a little money in your pocket. You can, you know, get her something nice. Um, any emergencies that happen with your family now, you can kind of be a part of that and take care of that, which a lot of us are, you know, kind of the heads of our household or taking that role in some shape or another. It's not just SMU donors in on the NIL action. This summer, UNT donors launched the Light the Tower Collective. Former UNT Athletic Director Rick Villarreal is the CEO. You know, we're already talking to some young people and we'll get some of those deals solidified as soon as we get the last few loose ends tied up. The role of NIL money in bringing top talent is still very controversial. Some say that it's impossible to prevent NIL money from being used to recruit players in some way. Others say it will be abused to benefit larger schools with bigger wallets. Villarreal says there will eventually need to be some universal regulation. I served on several NCAA committees and this, this subject came up 10 years ago. Um, and I can tell you that there has to be some reasoning. Um, there has to be some way that we, um, if this is going to be a part of the landscape, it needs to be manageable for everybody. Now, usually when we hear about, talk about NIL deals, it's the big revenue sports like football and men's basketball. Villarreal says at UNT, they're also going to be committed to making sure that female athletes also get money as well. Good plan, Stephen, thanks.